Parents in a New Mexico community who are angry that their kid's new Little League coach was once accused of rape. The coach says it never happened, but that's not settling their concerns. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt spoke to both sides. She's in the newsplex. Gabby. Jessica Dean, the Bolin Little League coach tells me he was falsely accused years ago. He is on probation for aggravated battery in this case, and that's enough to raise concern for some parents. Court records show 24-year-old Raymond Trujillo of Belen was accused in 2011 of holding a 17-year-old girl at knife point and forcing her to perform sexual acts. He was 18 at the time. Enough to cause any parent concern. That's because Trujillo now coaches kids for the Belen Little League. We should have the right to see everything that they've done and make our choice. The Valencia County District Attorney tells us the victim in Trujillo's case didn't want to testify to the sex charge in court, saying she'd been through enough. The rape charge was dismissed, but Trujillo has been serving a five-year probation for aggravated battery charges in that same case. You know, that's scary. His new role as coach has some parents concerned. Trujillo didn't want to go on camera, but told us he was falsely accused and says the teen girl was a foster child with mental problems. Belen Little League told us Trujillo did pass a background check and there's nothing on his record indicating he shouldn't work with kids. His probation only indicates he not have contact with the alleged victim. Trujillo says he wants to move forward and the case was he said, she said. Still, his criminal record doesn't sit well with everyone. Even though they weren't, you know, persecuted or it was dismissed, um, my thoughts still on did he do it, did he not, and I'm not taking that chance with my child, no, absolutely not. For now, Trujillo is still a coach with the Belen Little League. He said he'll talk with the league and let them decide if that will continue. Back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. The case was originally referred to the DA by CYFD after the foster child in this case disclosed the allegation to a counselor. The DA says it's not uncommon for victims in cases like this to choose not to testify.